he does nothing. Okay, down this way. Slow down. Slow down. <sighs> well, at least I've still got my dignity. Do you, though? Do you really, Chloe? I don't think there's been all that much that's been super dignified about this adventure so far. Uh, probably no need to go down there. We can swing. Oh, fuck, really? Point taken, universe. <laughs> yeah. No joke. I was like, well, at least I can have a little bit of fun swinging on this tree right here, and then the game was just like, no, actually you can't. Right now, your entire purpose in life is to just be shit on. By both other people and the universe itself. And by God, that's what's going to happen to you. Now, I do know there's a collectible somewhere close by. That's a strong vibration right around here. Is it up on this ridge, maybe? Yeah. Right there, my controller vibrated at the same time that the lightning happened, so I don't know what caused the vibration. <laughs> you can kind of hear a little bell tone, too, when you're within the vicinity of the collectible. Gotta be right around this spot. So, ah, there it is. I was really close to it before. And that is an engraved gourd jar. A jar just for gourds. Or more likely it's called that because of the shape of the jar. But I like to imagine that it's just where they kept all their gourds. But nothing else. Don't you dare store any apples or oranges in there. Bananas, grapes, none of that shit. Only gourds. I got another uh, vibration right around here, guys. It happens like when I run right up against this wall right here. Hmm. Can I get underneath this spot from down here? Try climbing up through here. Try this way. Oh, did you leave me some toys? Nice. Oh, C4. Good. Hell yeah. R1 to aim C4? R1 to... Yeah, to aim. Okay. So we literally just chuck it and then blow it up with... Huh. That's more like it. That's nifty. But what's back in here? Aha, there it is. Serpents and Ladders game. Oh, I just noticed they are not coming in in order anymore, guys. What the hell? This one's way back on the list. How does that work? I think that's the first time that's happened. That just blew my entire perception of how the unlockables work. <laughs> oh well. Now I know. Ah. Oh, 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 shit. Get down, get down. How did they not see me? Holy shit, is that in a day? Oh, she's really stepped in it now. Need to get to her. Yeah, she looks like she's doing fine for herself. Despite having absolutely mangled the vehicle. Uh, is there anyone else lurking out here right now? I'm actually not seeing anybody. Alright. Let's cautiously approach.
there's somebody. I was gonna say, this has gotta be the scene of like a giant battle because there's way too much tall grass. And that vehicle is gonna be rolling around the whole time too. Well, keep your eyes open. They must be hiding somewhere. Can't have gone far on foot. <sighs> okay. Yeah, if we piss off that vehicle, it's pretty much all over, guys. So, we gotta be, like, extra careful here. We may have a chance to take out this guy if he gets close. Come on, dude. Right over here. Right over here. Oh, nice. Rafika. Mm, I'm gonna keep what I have. Can I mark the vehicle? Huh! I can. <laughs> I didn't actually expect that to work. But I'll take it. Ah, I think I see a lockbox over there. Gonna have to try to go access that at some point. Okay. No! God damn it. I'm trying to take cover on the corner right there. Game had other ideas. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, these dudes are in high positions. I should really try to take them out. Oh my god. I really wish I could swing over there. I don't think I can, though. There's a swing. Well, I can maybe use that. At least get some distance, but they're probably going to see it. I gotta try it though, guys. I gotta wait till I have a decent chance and then just go for broke. Like right about now. Keep dropping, get down there. God damn. That took way too long. Ooh. I'm safe though. No! Okay, that guy has a rocket launcher though. That's what I need to take out that vehicle. So you know what? It was always going to come to this anyway. <laughs> Alright, where'd it go? There it is. Nope, that's not it. There it is! Yes! Off to a good stuff. One shot, one kill? Nope, it's still alive. And that's the only rocket I had. Fuck. Alright. Well, then I'll take this. I was gonna say, that dude's taking a beating. Come on. Okay. Need more rockets. Oh, shit. Where'd you come from? Get out of here, bitch. Probably some artillery in there. Come on, explosions. Where are you? Ugh. Ugh. Get in here. Get in here. Ow, ow, okay, okay. Now the question is, can I actually pick this thing without getting murdered? Oh! Dude! They just ran my ass over. That's what happened right there. I was even in a position of cover, too. <laughs> I didn't like that. Not even a little bit. Okay. Forget that plan. It's a bad place to be right now. Instead, let's just go look for more rockets that may have been dropped. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, okay. If they don't see me go in there... Mm. I don't know how possible it is to lose them once they've seen me, though. I 
just hang out over here for a second. Maybe they'll lose interest. Come on, dude. Go somewhere else. Okay. That might be my chance, guys. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Okay, okay, quickly now. Just two locks, just two locks. I got this, I got this. Right about... Ah, right about there. Yeah, baby! That's what Papa needed. Okay. Only one shot, though. We gotta make this count, guys. Although it's probably gonna take even another one after this. Let's get back onto the high ground. That way I have cover after I shoot them and they get pissed off again. No! Stupid Ivy prevented me from climbing up right then. Oh. Legs now. Yep. Need one more. Once or thrice, but never twice, guys. That's the rule. Y'all know it. Wait, what was that? Ah, it's a fall. Okay. Okay, so let's look for one more lockbox. Aha! That is... Oh, C4. Um, hmm. Can I throw it? Or do I have to attach it? No, it's right here. There you go. Say goodnight, bitch! Bam! Down for the count. You sons of bitches. I knew there wasn't going to be time to celebrate, guys. I knew it was too easy. I was thinking it. <laughs> I was just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Oh, Nadine's going to work now, too. Nice. Okay. They're really too far away right now. Let's get back up here. I hate that ivy right there. <laughs> Keeps ruining my plans. Man, they've got some good cover over there too. Not good enough though. Fray, here we go. Nadine's going for that dude. Get him. He's right there. Get him. Oh. Literally, all you had to do was run up and punch him right there. Wait, did you really just yell at me for provoking these guys? Because that's some grade A horseshit. Hang on. Be right there. I honestly can't believe you just did that. I'm a little upset. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, you can just struggle with that by yourself for a second there while I look around and not find anything in the back of the truck. Uh, was there one more lockbox? I feel like there was one somewhere. Shit. Yeah, that, that looks real tough, Nadine. I'm sorry that you're having so much trouble Damn with it. that. C4. I do wonder if I can reclaim this once I plant it. I gotta try this. Yeah, so I can just chuck it. It gets primed. Huh. Okay. I guess I can't reclaim it. Once it's thrown, it's thrown. 
Good to know, at least. Uh, how much ammo does that thing have? Sure, let's take it. Why not? I think that was all the boxes I saw. <laughs> She's still up there. Uh, uh, what can I do this? Ooh, there's some more. Nice. That C4 is pretty handy, guys. It's like a grenade, but more controllable. I think I would like to keep using this stuff for the rest of the game. Ooh. If we could find one more, we could actually be full up. Yeah, check that out. There was way more of this stuff than I thought there was, guys. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can go help her now. Stupid Nadine. Pissing me off lately. Better be grateful for this. You need a hand? There we go. You're welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start, and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, I... Spit it out! Okay, cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up. Okay? This is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority is the task. Not Sam Drake. And certainly not you. Fair enough. <sighs> All right. I understand your position. You'll get over it eventually, I'm sure. When Asav comes back, we'll have to work together to take him on. And you'll be happy that I'm here. What are you doing? <laughs> Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Yeah. But now you've locked us in here. With whoever else may be down here. Not just Asav and his men. But all the ghosts and monsters and goblins oh, too. What was that? Exactly what it sounded like. A uh, cave in? Because I don't like the sound of that. Oh wow. There's like a whole area model down there, but you can't really see it. Only if you jump in just the right way and get your light down there. <laughs> Interesting. up everything because that's what everybody in this game does even the people who don't bring explosives like me we still end up causing massive amounts of destruction it's kind of an inevitable thing when you're looking for this kind of treasure okay that actually pisses me off i really wanted to look at this design <laughs> oh you can still kind of see it from here Look at that cool freaking what do you what would you call that? I don't know what these things are called, but they just I really like the way that's designed, guys. That's some really cool architecture. Check that out. It's like something you'd see in like a 3D Castlevania game or something. I'll be there. Oh wow. The kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. I always find the back door, if you know what I mean. And glowy. Yep. Here we have a 10th century oil bottle. Okay. Some of these I can see how that would be a really cool thing to have. But a 10th century oil bottle? What value does that really have? Other than like... <sighs> 
I don't know, educational, I guess. But like beyond that, who's who's gonna pay money for that thing? Hey. Looks like a step well. You don't care. Shh. You hear that? Now I do. That sounds like a colossus. <laughs> We're going to fight the 17th Colossus to get the Tusk of Ganesh, guys. I'm ready. Don't mind us. Bats. What is that? Whatever it is, it's close. Okay, yeah, now I'm actually getting a little worried. What the hell is that? <laughs> and where is this collectible that is setting off my alarm right now? It's got to be, like, super close. Like, right up here. Uh, we probably have to wrap around to it. Yep. Hit it too early. Ah, uh, we got an aged silver anklet. Okay. These are filling in quite nicely, guys. We found a good amount of these things. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Easy, go. Easy. That sounded way bigger than this <laughs> when it was echoing around. But it makes perfect sense. All the, well, kinda. How the hell did an elephant get all the way down here? What was it doing down here? Let's help him out, guys. Hey, it's okay. She's tripped. But I don't think she's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy, girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. Oh. Stay calm. I'm talking to oh, you yeah. the elephant. Both. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Easy does it. Guys, I'm riding an elephant. Okay then. Where's it taking us? Wherever it wants. I'm steering it. I can steer the elephant, guys. I was kind of expecting it to be more of a rampage, but this is actually a pretty smooth Here. ride. <clears throat> Want some of this? I got some food. Eat the food. Eat the food, Mr. Elephant. Here you go. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Huh. Here you go. Here's one more for you. One more. You're a good elephant. I'm keeping this guy forever. I shall name him Nosy. Nosy and I are best friends. And I will never let him out of my sight. Nadine, you're lucky I'm letting you ride on my elephant. After you hit me before. Okay, stop. Stop here. I want to admire the sights. I can't stop it. Nosy! Nosy, hold up! Okay. You can't stop this train, guys. <laughs> it just keeps on rolling. Let's try and find him some more food. I don't really see any opportunities. Are those more monkeys? Look, I am... Um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. 
The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions, because this time he said he was onto something big. He was always onto something big. But bandits raided his camp, and um, local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So? Listen, Fraser, you don't have to stop. It's a Dewey. Charging, I think. Tell it to stop, because I speak elephant. <laughs> Look at it. Ah. <laughs> no wonder she was so distressed. Hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I get it. All right? I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? Okay. Deal. Come on. Well, if we accomplish nothing else today, at least we reunited a family. No, oh, just keep your distance. We've got a cough up him. Right. Wait, does that mean that the elephants will murder me if I get close? Because now I have to try to get close. Well, I would like to take a picture of them. Shouldn't we be able to do that? Where's the picture spot? It's got to be somewhere around here. I'm not seeing it, though. Okay, guys, let's see if we can get trampled to death here. Nosey? Nosey? I suppose it would be a shame to come all this way and die right now here. Okay, but now I have to try and get killed. Yeah? No, oh, they're not actually gonna have it kill me, guys. He's just gonna yell at me over and over again. All right, all right, fine. I thought it would have been really funny if they actually included a death like that, but I guess they didn't want to spoil the majesty of the elephants by showing them for the horrible, brutal killing machines that they are. Oh, here's the picture spot. Nice. Here, I'll take this one. Oh, okay, thanks. Move over a little. That's good. Now, reach that way and hold out your hand. What? <laughs> Much safer way to pet an elephant. Much obliged. But it's a lie. It's a photograph built on a lie. That's still pretty cool, though. I actually want to see the way that looks. Hold up. <laughs> that does look pretty cool. Oh yeah, I forgot we can zoom in on this too. That's a contender for best picture, guys. I think the monkey attacking Nadine still takes the number one spot, but yeah, that one's pretty good too. And there's a glowy somewhere close by. I see it right over here. We got a ceremonial sugar hammer. <laughs> what the hell is a sugar hammer? <laughs> Is that, like, something to mine sugar cane? Or is it something you use to, like, tamp down sugar when you're cooking? I have no idea. Salah battling the tiger. I'd say we're on the right track. Indeed we are. Alright, guys. That was a really cool segment. I do have to say, I feel like the story in this game feels a little bit contrived. In terms of... 
like the interpersonal conflict between Chloe and Nadine. Uh, I think the treasure hunting thing is like pretty standard fare. Asav's a decent villain. He's kind of like one-dimensional, but so is every villain in these games. And it's it's standard adventure fare in terms of that stuff. But it feels like they're trying to go the Uncharted 4 route and really dig into like like the relationships between the characters and the way that they interact and the problems they have and how they work through them. And in Uncharted 4, it worked, it worked really, really well because you had... Nathan and Elena, whose marriage is falling apart, and then you had Nathan and Sam, who were estranged brothers, and you had, like, everything going on with that whole scenario, and it was all really interesting and done really well. In this game, I feel like they just kind of manufactured this conflict between Chloe and Nadine, and I don't think it holds up super well, and I just don't really care about it, if I'm being honest. I still think Chloe and Nadine are great characters. I'm just not super, super impressed with the, the way the conflict is panning out. But maybe that'll change. I don't know. I'm still having fun. This is a great game. I'm going to take a break for now, but when we come back, we will continue on and hopefully be approaching the end of this game, guys. I feel like we've been playing for a while now, and it's not supposed to be super long, so we may be approaching the final hours now. And uh, we'll try and finish it out next time. Thanks very much, guys. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I'll catch you guys when we come back. Bye, Nosy and Nosy's family. Take care.